because this is a little bit of a prediction. I don't know if tomorrow's the last game of the season or not. Maybe Friday. Maybe not. But either way, if this ends in some sort of a unsatisfying way for the Warriors, I think a new conversation, it has been started, but really going to get into it in earnest. And, and more importantly, I think the Warriors are having this discussion. And it's this. Can Steph Curry still be a one? Now, I know we'll look at the numbers and our emotions want so badly to say yes. And it's so hard ever. Like you get just all tight, all parts of your chest and everything when you say anything that might be considered negative about Steph Curry. Mm, Don't do it. I don't even look at the output. I don't look at three-point percentage and all of that. If you need to, if you're coming down the stretch for positioning and you twice in the final week decide to rest Steph Curry and have a number of times down the stretch done press conferences where you say this organization has been putting too much on the shoulders of Steph Curry for years now, and so we have to manage the minutes and all of that. If that's your opinion and that's your behavior, couldn't I argue well, if that's what April feels like, what the hell would June feel like? Yeah. Do you mean to tell me that this person who you are now hell-bent on taking pressure off of his shoulders, how is it that he is supposed to still be a one deep into the playoffs if he can barely get to the end of the regular season in this role? I know he can still fulfill the role, but can he do it for the whole year and into the playoffs? And if he can't, Then in a way, that means he can't fulfill the role anymore. Right. And how could he fulfill the role? He's 36. Right. And so LeBron is a one, quote unquote, but he has Anthony Davis. Yeah, he's got one A. And, you know, he's got Austin Reeves, who is actually a legit two. And you you have two guys who are the one. And Austin Reeves is great. That's a little bit of a hot take on Austin uh, Okay, Reeves. a little bit of a stretch. Solid but, player. And I, I wouldn't call him a two. Well, he's the two for them because they have two guys who are the one. And so, and even at that, L.A. is a uh, an eight seed. Right. It's not like L.A. is, you know, with LeBron and A.D., it's not like they're a four seed. And if Steph is your one, and he is, and you're a ten seed, that tells you all you need to know about whether or not he can really be a championship one. He can't. There's a, they're a playing team for the second year in a row. Right. The Lakers. Um, let's go to Vic in Fremont. Hi, Vic. You're on with Willie and Debbie. What are you doing? Hey guys, uh, thanks for having me on our show. First of all, I just wanted to thank you guys for everything you guys have done this season covering the Warriors. I mean, you guys are phenomenal, um, and I love hearing you guys' takes. Um, this is my first time on the show, and I just had a quick question. So I was on Twitter this morning, kind of um, scrolling, and I see a lot of Dubs fans are down in the dumps because uh, GP2 is obviously not available for these next two games, uh, potentially. Um, but I've been a big advocate of Moses Moody, as have both of you. And I think those 13 to 16 minutes that GP2 takes up, I feel like if Kerr just trusted Moody in these games, he would be amazing for us, especially against the Kings. We saw what he could do against the Lakers in the playoffs last season. I just kind of wanted to hear your take on if you think we could get this job done with Kerr giving Moody the green light to do his thing tomorrow. Um, I, I do, and Vic, I also think that Steve Kerr already trusts Moses Moody. And I know a lot of you will be like, what? Then why didn't he play him? Because math. I will buy the, the answer that Steve Kerr has given us all year long. You have to get to this time of year with a very defined and somewhat small rotation. You just have to. I mean, my God. Everyone's begging for more Jonathan Kaminga minutes. right? And now we're going to be like, okay, GP2's out. You better give him all of those minutes to Moses Moody, and it's like, well, wait a minute, dude. Don't you want to give some of them to Kaminga or whatever? Here's what I mean by that. Moses Moody, unfortunately, plays right now with the Warriors a swing role, and that means that on certain nights, if people are out, he's going to be asked to play a key role. On certain nights when everyone's in, he's going to be asked to watch the basketball game, and on the nights where he watches the basketball game, he better be ready for something to go haywire, right. and he's asked to come in and play basketball. He's done that very well, and I and and I do think Steve trusts him. It's just he gets squeezed out, 
And, um, and, and it's not that I don't want to see Moses more, but when you look at what the Warriors have lineup wise, I understand why he gets squeezed out. I would not be in favor of jamming him in there in favor of someone else who right now right. is doing what he's doing for the Warriors. And the minutes he's lost have been to uh, Pods. Brandon Podjemski, who is a better shooter than he is, and he is not quite the same uh, the same overall player, but he can defend and he takes charges and he does the little things. He's a better rebounder. Much and better so, rebounder, sure. Yeah, when you look at like why Pods gets minutes that Moody should get, it's because Brandon Podjemski is a better shooter and he's better overall. Do the numbers and, bear that out? You've said that twice. Is he a better shooter than yeah, Moses Moody? from three. He yeah. is? Yes. What are the numbers? Uh, I will pull them up for you. I have them right here. Three-point shot. You have uh, Pods at 38.5 and Moody at 36. Okay. So a little bit better. Okay. And, you know, Pods shoots it maybe a little bit more often. It's almost identical in terms of how many attempts, but, uh, you know, Moses is... 36% on three threes a game, pods 38% on 3.2 threes a game. And, you know, the overall numbers would would show you that, I mean, pods has shot 20, 34 actually, more threes on the year than Moody. So it's comparable, but it feels like when they're both going to be open, it feels to me as a watcher that uh, Pods is more likely to make the three. Well, even if he's not, or even if it was even, Pods does so many right. things on the, which is what yeah. you're just saying. But I mean, that he does take so, charges and defend. And, I mean, you know, he just rebound. Like he is, he's got a little Draymond in him, where like you can look at the box score and just be like, eh. But like if you watch the game, there's all these little things that happen because of the presence of Pajemski. Dibsy Scott Moxie. Yeah. There's he's Moxie second in there. on the team in rebounding. Oh, he's incredible a rebounder. He's second on size. the team. It's Draymond <laughs> and it's Pods. That's, he's ahead of Kavon. That's so absurd. It, I mean, it's absurd, right? But he does that. He's ahead of Trace Jackson Davis. Right. That's what's absurd because Trace is getting minutes. Yeah. I understand that Looney, you know, Looney uh, his numbers are, they've gone sideways. He doesn't play much anymore. Um, but, uh, but yeah, Brandon Pajemski has got that nose. Got a nose for the basketball. Trace didn't grab a rebound yesterday. How about that? How many minutes did he end up like with? 20? Okay. Jeez. Didn't grab a rebound in 20 minutes. We're just watching the end of the game in here on replay. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know who these Seriously. people are. Seriously. Pat Spencer, stand like, up. Yeah. Who's number 61? I mean. I think that's Pat Spencer. <laughs> could be. Could be Garuba. Who, who are either know. of those people right. you're talking about? <laughs> who is Pat everyone Spencer, in the Utah or, starting lineup? Well, that too. Charlie. That too. Yeah, there was a white guy with a beard. I'm like, I haven't seen that. Shout out Johnny Juzang. I don't Go know Bruins. what's going on here with these Warriors, but they won the basketball game. Good for them. Sponsored by... 